Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Day of the Tentacle. Here we are in colonial times as Hoagie. And there's that tree sitting there by itself. I don't trust it. It's totally covered with crud. Yeah. It's closed. Open it. Because <laughs> you know the rule of point and click adventure games take everything that's not nailed down. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Hmm. I wonder who I wonder who that was intended for. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Yeah. Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. You wouldn't be him, would you? Great hat, man. Know where I could get one? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop wasting my time Later, with this. Later, dude. The problem with this is the conversations are such a key part of the game, but they're gonna take up so much time. Well, uh, I wonder what's in this clock. Where's open? <laughs> in the normal time, in the present, I guess. The basement was there, so... Oh, is that red? Yes, it is. Let's talk to him. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? It's a piece of paper that will stick to things by itself. Rather ingenious, if I must say so myself. Yeah, like post-it notes. What are you inventing? It's a piece of paper that will stick to things by itself. Rather ingenious, I meant to I click the other myself. one. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. Oh, no. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. Oh, no. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one, at any rate. <laughs> must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Touche. Well... Let's give that mm, to him. Super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Hmm. Well, let's look it's over here. It's covered with plans and junk. Just looks like a regular hammer to me, but then I'm no scientist. Yeah. Well, I want it. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Hmm. I want it. Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Hey. Well, maybe I should become an employee. What is it this time? What was it you needed for that battery oh. again? Oil, vinegar, and gold. Let me know if you happen across any. Well, there were no dialogue options on getting employed, so... 
Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! Yeah, that might help. If only I had a way to... reveal... Wait, that's not the wrong right word. I'm gonna go this way instead. I don't want to go upstairs yet. Hey, who's that? John Hancock? Thomas Jefferson? George Washington? Uh, excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Dude. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Their voices are similar. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Cherry tree. Well, there's Is a kumquat tree out there. The cherry tree. Oh yes, it's quite true. Why I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Well, I have a kumquat tree that I want to get rid of. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Yeah. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well, I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there isn't. I only cut down cherry trees. Family tradition, you understand. Cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. Okay. Hey, that's gold-plated quill pen. Hey, keep your hands off that. But I want it. I need it. What about that log? Sorry, I'm saving it. But... It's going to be a famous log. Okay. What does he have to say? Hey, Tall, Dark, and Spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson. Yes. Noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas, my name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. Filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing the Constitution for the United States. Right now it's just a Constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Good idea. Later, bra. What? What's going to happen later? <laughs> well, let's see what this guy has to say. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Well, oh really? You mean it's like a symbol of growth or something? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. Yeah. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. <laughs> That's a good reason. You mean you have, like, a childhood <laughs> complex? All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c crazy over guys with a big signature. Well, I gotta go, dude. Yeah, I don't think I'll be showing all of the dialogue options. That'll they just don't take seem too to long. Have gotten too far. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Not quite what I had in mind, but it's a useful shortcut to have. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Hmm. <clears throat> oh. Well, I'm not gonna bother with that right now. But it's there. It's a useful little shortcut. And you got to witness that uh, unusual, what you might call it, sound effects and zaniness. But enough of that. Um, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Day of the Tentacle. Sorry I didn't accomplish much, guys. Uh, bye. <laughs>